So this reading is for the sign of Cancer. I hope to deliver some messages that resonate with you. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel, like, and comment. Um, only if the comment if comments are positive. I am a new channel, and it would mean the world to me for you to, um, to support me. All right, so with that being said, we'll get right in here. For the month of August, this is a general read. Um, however, if it takes a turn for money or love, it might be described as that. So, all right. bottom of the deck. Ace of Pentacles. So, and then at the bottom of that one was the Four of Pentacles, and that's just so funny because I feel like you're definitely coming out of this energy and something new is coming in. So, whether it is wealth, money, um, a stroke of luck something new is coming in for you but we're going to get more into the cards to see what that something is all right so going into august you have the king of cups water energy right i'm pretty sure that's scorpio but it's still water the knight of cups and the Ten of Cups. So, this is being recorded on July 29th. And I just want to say August is just right around the corner. So if you're not already experiencing something new and positive and transformative, you will hear very, very soon. You got the Ten of Cups. So what have you been wishing for? What have you been manifesting? Is it a person? Um, I almost feel like Cancer. This is your energy that you've been sitting in and you're confident and you know that you're going to get your wish fulfillment and how i'm feeling about this is you're sitting there and you're so confident um you know it's like believing in the law of attraction you know whatever you believe you will receive right and i feel like you're just sitting in this energy like august is you know august is going to be fan fantastic you're sitting in this energy like something big just happened for you with that ace of pentacles at the bottom of the deck um but you know pentacles the the aces ace any 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 ace is it about a new beginning and i almost feel like you're in this energy of you know something is coming towards you whether it's money or uh, a love offer or a job offer or a promotion or whatnot you know you're in this energy like you know you're gonna get whatever it is that you may have been waiting for like you know it's coming to you and you're just sitting in this energy like hell yeah i knew it i knew it i knew that was gonna happen and just confident and very matter of fact i feel whatever it is that you is on your mind whatever it is is on your mind that you've been waiting for you know it's coming to you you know it matter-of-factly okay so whatever is has been weighing on your mind whatever has made you feel good that's what's coming to you in August your your wish fulfillment is coming to you in August and my heart just got really really happy when I said that to you right now this second time 
So let's move into the mid-August and see if we can get some, some more of what's going on here. For Cancer, mid-month, please show us what we need to see. Cancer, mid-month. Look at these. They want to jump out, don't they? But they're not. We have more water energy. The Five of Cups. All right, so for mid August, we have the Hanged Man, the King of Swords. The Nine of Swords. So I feel like what is happening right here is that before or prior to August, um, you had some some stuff going on and fear doubt and worry and um, I have a feeling that if it if it's to do with a person even though you're sitting moving into August like in that King of Cups energy and wish fulfillment um, something's gonna creep back up around mid-August all right and this it, this could be and just take it how it resonates but this is this this is the line I'm gonna go into you are going to go into August in this energy up here. One of your wishes is going to be fulfilled. And I honestly think it has to do with finances because of that Ace of Pentacles. Okay. Um, I really do. It's it's work. It's a bonus. It's something. You're getting something. And I, and I really feel like the focus is on work because, you know, underneath the Five of Cups, we have the King of Pentacles. And then we had that Ace of Pentacles. So I really feel, and I, I just looked down and seen that, so that's why I felt the need to incorporate that into the beginning. Um, <clears throat> so by mid-August, I feel like something's going to come back around or someone is going to come back around that you didn't expect that really hurt you. That's the energy I'm getting for mid-August, that you're going to hear some, from somebody that really hurt you, um, broke your heart, or it could be a family member. Somebody hurt you in the past and they are coming back in August. And it's going to stir up all these emotions, you know, to be honest. Um, this kind of makes me upset for you because you're moving into August with this really good energy. And then something's going to blindside you. And um, you're not going to like it. And honestly, I feel like it's a person the, um, you know, I, I talk about how I feel, but I also feel I'm guided to say some of the things that I say, right? That's how we, that's how we do these card reads. Uh, I'm, I'm just getting a really heavy feeling right now. Um, I don't know, Cancer, somebody's going to come back that you don't want to hear from or that you don't expect to hear from, that you really, truly loved, but they hurt you. Like, they hurt you so bad. And I feel like if they ghosted you or just left you or if they were married to somebody else or they didn't have a clear explanation, this is your energy mid-August. And I feel... Um, You're going to have some stuff to say to them. I feel like you were so broken hearted by this person, to be honest, that you don't like this person coming back around because of how wrong they did you. But if I could just make a suggestion, don't, 
don't hate the person, don't be ugly to the person, don't be mean to the person because, you know, you want to build up all the good karma you can, um, you know, and the universe has seen what you've done with yourself. You know, you're this energy in, into August. So just make sure you're staying in that energy. And just because you're coming out with the King of Swords energy for mid-August, that person that comes back around needs to hear your honesty. They need to hear everything that you have to say. They need to know how they left you, how they left you felt, how they treated you, how, you know, I almost feel like this person just treated you like trash. They treated you like garbage. Like they did, they had no, um, like they threw you away in a dumpster or something. They just, they, they took your heart out of your chest. Sorry, I talk fast sometimes, but they took your heart out of your chest, threw it on the ground and then stepped on it out on their way out the door. <laughs> and then when you put it back in your chest, it was probably, um, dirty and had tears on it and it took you a long time to grow it back to normal oh my god i don't know why i'm so upset <laughs> i really don't but you're going to get the opportunity to come back around and say what's on your mind to this person okay and if you guys are going to make fun of me in the comments for being upset about this, go ahead. I don't care. Um, I do feel like you're going to tell the, that person exactly how you feel, exactly what's on your mind. But I also feel like you're in this energy of, I've said what I had to say, now goodbye. And then you're just coming back into, um, they upset they upset you and they rattled you a little bit. So you're just going to be... You got to go back down. You got to go back into this mode right here. So you know what you have to do. They came and rattled you, but you're going back into this mode so that you can come as the King of Cups because this guy's just breathing. He's just hanging there. He, there's nothing wrong with him. He's choosing to hang there. And so you know that you got to tie yourself back to this important energy right here because you got this going on. You know, this is going to be what your focus is, is this, not this nasty person that did what whatever they did to you um you're not in that energy you're, you're not going to be in this energy this is this is who you are now but this is who you are when this person comes around and it's it's not a, a this is not a pity party person this is no like i don't want to cuss because i'm trying to not make my videos so that 17 and 16 year olds can't see him but anyway okay so the end of august i i'm so sorry this person that comes back around to you i just want to tell you they um they really upset me for you and i don't even know who you are all right so the end of august for cancer of pentacles and the hermit so I feel like at the end of the month beginning middle and end I still feel like this is a money money mode for you um, I feel like whatever you've done entering into August to get your wish fulfillment, it's just generating, it's generating and generating and generating um, whatever it is you're focused on. Um, and if it's not that you're a business owner or something, whatever you are focused on as far as getting that initial Ace of Pentacles, and this is just like a double clarifier, something, 
you've wanted in, in as far as money is coming to you um, in this month of August. It is coming. And you've waited for it for a long time. You know, you have waited for this moment for a long time. And I feel like, um, you know, the, I'm not going to say this is a, a marriage card. <laughs> um, it could be that uh, you, you had to maybe pray about that mid-month moment to the higher ups. Um, and it could be, it could be an ex, it could be an ex-wife or ex-husband, or it could just, uh, it could be an ex-fiance or just somebody that you were deeply committed with. Um, but I feel like what, um, we are being told is that, uh, I look at certain uh, major arcana cards as direct sources to the universe or the divine. And I feel like they put that person back into your life because you never got to say what you wanted to say. And they, this is your time to shine. And, and it might have been that this person that comes around mid-August sees what you did and what you're getting and how successful you are. And boom. Uh-uh. No. No. This is their karma. Their karma is they get to see you be successful. All right? And that's why the universe sent them back around. And I feel like it was somebody that you were deeply um, committed to that maybe effed you over. Um, and then with the Hermit card, this to me is um, a very wise card. This guy is, it's, it's you coming out in the end. Um, with that much more knowledge, with that much more power, with that much more um, just divine substance about you is how I'm feeling. Like you handled that test very, very well. And this is the energy you're in. It's not that you're a hermit and you're being cooped up. This is like you, this is, I feel like how I'm seeing this is you, the universe is seeing you, your growth, your substantial growth as a person. Because when this person comes back around, you're not going to be a D-head to them. You're going to tell them how, what they did, how you felt about it, but you're not going to treat them like they treated you. And um, with the energy that you're in with your, um, just, I feel like the wealth or the abundance that you're going to be receiving, um, it kind of makes me happy for you that this person gets to see you in this energy. And I truly just hope like for the best of your success. And I truly hope that this message gets out to whoever needs to hear it. I, I really do. I want, I, I want you guys to please tell me if this is, if this is your, your energy. All right, please do. Because this, this reading is like, it's really got me. So I'm just going to pull you guys a making magic card because I feel like this, uh, general read is with money. I'm not going to pull a romance angel because I don't feel like you're feeling romantic about anybody right now at the moment. And then we'll get one more. Sorry. Or two more. All right. So what the universe has for you is the elements, the elements of fire, air, earth, and water combined to create powerful, protective boundaries, spiritual, mental, physical, and emotional. And I feel like that's what you're, what you've been working on. Like you're just on point cancer. You philosopher's stone, powerful manifestation of wishes and goals by harnessing universal energy. And I feel like that's what you've done. And, and this is the universe, like whatever you've done, you You've got your ace of pentacles for sure. The um, star, the silver energy of the star brings good luck and serendipity. And you know, what a perfect read for that card to come out in. And then I didn't see this one. Um, Labyrinth. Transition to a higher level of being, raising your energetic vibration, enlightenment. And I'm just like, boom. Hermit. That's you. Like this is you. You're... Yes, transitioning into a higher level of being, and the universe sees that. You're going to be 
the, I don't, and I feel like the rewards for you, Cancer, are not going to stop here. All right. So, hey, if you guys, again, liked this video, please um, like, comment, subscribe. And just remember to keep positive, positive comments in the section. If you have to be negative, maybe just write it down on a piece of paper and burn it. But I don't want to see it because I do try to stay high vibrational. All right. Hey, I hope you guys have a good month. All right. Bye.